Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans to a brand new series. That's right, it's your host Galadon and we are trying to fix that rush. This Town Hall 12 that was so impossibly rushed, most players would just abandon it. We are going to fix it, but as you can see right here, we're starting out with a gold pass. We are going to spend time on it and gems, but in order to best handle this rushed Town Hall 12, we are going to speak to and consult with the ultimate expert on fixing that rush. That is right, Klaus from Klaus Gaming. We've got him on the line. We're going to talk to him. And in the background, you will get to know this account a little bit more and see exactly what my plans are for trying to get it fixed. And actually, trying to get it all the way to maxed out Town Hall 12 by the time Town Hall 13 releases. Klaus, what is up, man? Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and advise me. What's up, man? Thanks for having me. And, you know, I'm going to try my best to advise you. I feel like I'm just going to give you my opinions and hopefully they're good. Well, I, the thing is, you are the original, like the original author, the copyright for Fix That Rush, if there is such a thing, belongs to you. You had uh, some Im pretty impressive fixes of rushes. And so here I am with what is... Starting out is just about the most rushed Town Hall 12 that you could possibly get, I mean, other than Tesla levels and hero levels. <laughs> yeah, that thing's pretty bad. It's, I'm, it's... I'm a little worried for you, to be honest. <laughs> well, I'm that's... hoping that you have a pretty good gem fund. Well, this. see, that's the thing, and this is where I thought it might be interesting, because I obviously don't have the, the time, and it would probably be years or hundreds and hundreds of hours to farm it up gem-free, along with all the other stuff I'm doing on the channel. So I thought, why don't we do a hybrid, fix that rush, gem that rush, where people can watch at the end of each episode, I will total up how much I've spent in both time and in money. And we'll see how much it takes me in time and money to try to get to max Town Hall 12. And the race is, I want to max this account before Town Hall 13 releases. That's my goal. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, dude, I think you could totally do it. Um, like for my original fix that rush, I had a town hall 10 that mm. had like the worst everything. So, <laughs> and it took a long time. I think it took like two years, but oh, I spent literally zero dollars on that account. That's the thing. And that's what I, I'm sure that viewers can appreciate. And so that's where I think that it's great. And people should still go watch that series on your channel and subscribe to you while they're there. Of course. Oh, yeah, of course. If Thank they you. haven't already, but I'm assuming <laughs> they have. But if they haven't, there they go. And we'll watch that series. But this is kind of, you know, it's going to be a different series because it's not just, hey, we're grinding through it free to play. It's like I'm going to break down and from time to time I'll spend some gems. I'm going to avoid, you know, spending outrageous amounts of gems on like, you know, gemming up 10 million gold. But when it comes to gemming time to finish things up, you know, maybe we'll go through a series of defenses and finish them because the waiting time is just so brutal, you know? Yeah, yeah, there's, it's weird, because when, whenever you first start this process, Galadon, you're gonna find yourself, like, filling up your builders, and it's gonna be super easy, and, you know, no big deal, and then you're gonna <laughs> get up into, like, the Tunnel 9, Tunnel 10 level defenses, where stuff gets, to, like, expensive, and the build times are ridiculous. Yeah. So, there's gonna come a moment where you're either gonna be sitting and waiting, or you're gonna have to gem some stuff. Yeah, and I and I will admit, and there's probably some gemming happening on the screen right now, that I yeah. am going to be gemming some stuff and mostly time, and I'm also going to be purchasing pretty much every package that comes through the shop because those are such a good value, you know, if you're spending the money. So, Absolutely, that's yeah. a good good plan. Like if you do need to spend money, those those packs are, are amazing and, and actually they always show you like how good of a value they are like i've seen some that were like 14x value like you you can't beat that yeah exactly so those will probably all get purchased and that way i'll at least have a lot of books to use and potions to use that'll speed things up and uh, you know we'll try to get on just about every day and play and i'll stream some of it as well so we'll see but so are there any other pieces of advice you have for me as far as like army comps or trophy ranges um you know you've seen what my troops look like i've got some higher level balloons uh, e-dragons the heroes are okay they're like you know what they're like town hall nine heroes i guess what about your warden i do have a a teen warden he's in the teens cool okay so, so what i was going to suggest to begin with and for those of you that are watching that may be rushed and 
are in a similar situation, you may have a worse warden than Galadon does. And in this case, this is even more relevant to you that I would definitely start off with a, a really cheap army. And I, I did Barch. Some people have other yeah. suggestions, but like a barbarian archer mix and just farm some dead bases in gold league or uh, crystal league or okay. yeah, pretty low because that's where they all are. Um, if you're a tunnel 12, maybe master league would maybe work too, but you know, grind elixir because in fix that rush for those that may have seen that before, they've heard this quote before that elixir is the currency for unrushing because okay. there are so many things, especially like if you don't have your army camps or your barracks or whatever upgraded, like you definitely need your offensive infrastructure maxed as soon as you can. And that's going to require a lot of elixir. So whether yours, Galadon, is maxed or not, I would highly recommend starting by focusing down on elixir first until you're in a comfortable position and then change gears and really grind out dark elixir because if your heroes are stronger, it's going to make life a lot easier for you. Well, that makes complete sense, and that's something that I don't have maxed yet, and that is the camps. Uh, the camps are up there, but they still have a, a level or two to go, uh, so I want to get those up there just so it improves my offensive efficiency, obviously. And uh, again, with the troop levels, so hopefully, yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit ahead on the elixir curve, just because the warden is already kind of high for a really rushed 12, uh, but... Yeah, so I've been using, like, Lunian so far, because I guess it was just forced to happen. Like, you know, you and I using it on our Town Hall 10s, and me using it on the Town <laughs> Hall 9s. So I just thought, oh, Lunian, let's go. It trains up pretty quickly, but I've also been up in, like, High Master Champion League. I'm considering dropping down, trying to farm, like, with Barch. I just, so you think at Town Hall 12, you think I'll be able to Barch bases down lower? Because I'm worried about hitting 12s that Barch will just vaporize against. Yeah, that's that's also a big problem. Like, again, whenever I did fix that rush, it was a Town Hall 10. And so it was a little easier to, like, just grind out dead Town Hall 9s chilling in Crystal League. But as a Town Hall 12, you're going to have to find those dead Town Hall 11s and grind those out. And you're going to have a harder time with Barch. But at the same time, you know, it's not necessarily about being able to three star the base. I mean, I'd rather spend 50K Elixir on an, ar on a, uh, on an army and profit, you know, 300,000 Elixir than spend... 200k elixir on an army and only profit 200,000 you know like Good that point. there's there's and also barch is really fast at training so Not you get a lot of little time. armies yeah, yeah exactly like you get a lot of little armies and those numbers add up really really fast so if you're grinding elixir i still recommend barch but lunian is a great uh, it's kind of like a good middleman where you're you're still not spending a whole lot of elixir and you're not yeah. spending a lot of dark elixir so you can kind of farm both or you know, if you get into that cool position where you're just really trying to grind Dark Elixir and you're also grinding gold, mm -hmm. then uh, miners, like Mass Miner is a fantastic strategy for that. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of people talk about Mass Miner, so that's definitely on my list to try. But we'll, I'll rotate through different strategies, and uh, perhaps I can come back and we can have a discussion again in the future. Uh, of course, shout out to your original Fix That Rush series for every time I do one of these episodes. But uh, I'm looking forward to trying to get this base look to look a little bit less ugly. Uh, I'm, so. I bet you can, because it can't get much worse. <laughs> ah, the, thanks, Klaus. Appreciate that, man. All right. Well, I, thank you again for your time, Klaus. I appreciate it. And again, we will keep you updated. And I'm sure they will get over there and check out your original, the first ever Fix That Rush series, Town Hall 10. Thanks, Galadon. Thanks, Galafam. You guys uh, enjoy this series. He's going to have a really good time on it. And you're going to see, you know, some gemming, too, which I know is fun to watch for those of us that, you know, either can't or don't want to do it ourselves. It's always fun to watch somebody else do it. But, Galadon, I know you're going to put in a ton of work, so it's going to be a really, really fun series to watch. And I'll be tuning in. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll gem, but I'll try not to make it dirty gemming. <laughs> no such right, thing. Klaus. Exactly. There you go. All right, Klaus. Thanks again, man. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. <laughs> see take it easy. All right, so there you guys have it. We are going to wrap up episode one of Fix That Rushed Town Hall 12, the most rushed 12 of just about all time. And, uh, you know, it comes at a curious point of the episode that we notice that we've run low on gems already. So what I'm going to do, and I mentioned this in the interview with Klaus, at the end of every episode, I will tally up the running total of how much we have spent in actual money and how much we have spent in time 
on this Town Hall 12. Now, it of course doesn't include any money or time that was spent up to this point. If you guys wondered, this account was originally created to work in a collaboration series with Chief Pat. Chief Pat unfortunately could not finish it because he had other things to do. We can't seem to get him back to Clash of Clans, so we're gonna move on and we're going to do it with this series, reviving the old Chief Galadon account, renaming it Galadon and fixing that rushed Town Hall 12. So here we are, the end of the first ever episode and with this $100 purchase of gems. Now this is, this $100 of gems is going to last us a while. Also, I'm going to be using it so that I can gem armies to donate to other players as well. Gem troops and spells and siege machines. So we will go ahead and grab these 14,000 gems and hopefully they'll last us a few episodes. We'll see exactly how far they go. There is the purchase. And as we do that, we'll watch those move into the gems on the right hand side anytime now. This sometimes takes a while. And there they go, here they come, okay. And here's your total for the first episode. Total spent. $112.96, that's those packages plus the gems and the gold pass and amount of time spent, one hour and five minutes farming it, playing it, moving stuff around and getting ready to go. So please subscribe, tune in, join me for the series, Fixing That Rushed Town Hall 12. Thank you as always for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Make sure you check out Klaus's channel, Klaus Gaming and his famous Fix That Rush Town Hall 10 where he did succeed. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Get out there, be kind to animals, people, and the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full rushed attacks. And, and not rushed. Too. Galidon! Galidon! I'm ready for another episode of Gally Gem Gaming! <laughs>